Hi everyone, Mary Ann here, Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. I've got to start this by thanking everybody. Uh, I don't know if I thanked Angela for the bookmarks, but I'm reading uh, two uh, really good books at the moment and those book, bookmarks uh, are coming in handy. Uh, also, I received two Tim Walsh, ha Harris and Tim Walsh um, caps. Thank you to the viewers who have sent that. I've got two now. Yes, I will wear them. And, okay, I mean, I don't know what I look like in a, uh, a cap, <laughs> but here I, are, here I am. And I just want to say, uh, take this opportunity and make this very clear to everybody. I am a podcaster. I'm an intuitive. I'm a former journalist. I'm a clairvoyant. In fact, that's probably one of my strongest skills. And uh, I've been at this since 2018 when um, the ex-president came on the scene. I felt it felt very strongly it was time to stay, take a stand. I felt that, that, that what occurred in America would then be the Trumpian, um, I guess, extremist... Uh, extremist views would then be imported to my country in Australia. Uh, I want to say that um, just yesterday, a state of Australia, South Australia, uh, heard uh, or, or heard voted on a bill uh, to restrict abortion, uh, abortion access for women in South Australia. They called it a Trumpian-like bill. It was voted down by one vote. So the Senate, in the Senate, South Australian Senate, it was a 9 to 10 vote, meaning it narrowly, that bill, which would then restrict abortion access uh, for women uh, after the 20, I think it was the tw uh, 22nd week. Um, in, in Let me just background this in South Australia, if you do want to terminate a pregnancy uh, it ha at that point, it uh, has to be for medical reasons and signed off on to, to, by two doctors. That's as the law stands now. They wanted to overturn that and take away a medic, medical reason uh, for, um, for, for women, take away control of the women's body and also the doctor's right to say this is a dangerous, this is going to be dangerous for the woman. How did that, how did we even get here? More and more conservative politicians in Australia are now talking about restricting abortion access. How did we get here? We got here because of, of the arguments and the battles that are being fought in America and the overturning of Roe v. Wade. So don't for one minute think that what occurs in your country isn't imported imported here in Australia. And so it is for that reason that I today announce that I endorse, if you if it wasn't clear already, I endorse in Australia, <laughs> me the podcaster endorses uh, Vice President Harris and um, and her running mate Tim Walls. Okay, let that be clear to anyone who is visiting and uh, expresses outrage that that this isn't a that this is a pro democracy channel, okay? Is it clear now? All right, let's get going uh, with today's readings. I've got my dowsing rods because there's a few questions I want to ask, and I think that'd be a good use of them. Let's uh, look to uh, Trump's health again. I know I'm labouring the point. However, I said the decline would be very visible around the. Um, Republican convention and we, 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 he would just go downhill. And, and I think that's, that's, that's the case. You all have seen the clips of him swaying for 39 minutes to uh, music uh, in a town hall that was supposed to be Q and A and yeah, they all just stood there doing dancing and swaying. Okay. There are real concerns, right? Rhetoric aside, uh, satirical humour aside, there are real, real concerns about his fitness for office, physical and mental fitnesses, aside from uh, some of the things we saw him do, uh, the myriad of staff, former cabinet members who say that he's unfit for office um, mentally, there are real concerns around his health now. And so 
the question's been asked, can he make it? Can he make it to the election? We'll ask that. And then uh, the subsequent uh, questions, is he mentally and or physically fit for office? And just see what the cards are saying. Want to get on to Elon Musk. Um, I talked about him, uh, that uh, he is, uh, a, I guess, worried about a legal issue. Many of you said, oh, it's it's bricks. Yeah, well, that's a side issue. That's that's a side issue. The main game for Elon Musk and his support of Trump, the biggest donor to Trump, I think his pack in the last quarter, uh, is whatever Trump has promised him to get, it, get Leon Musk out of trouble. And I want to I want to unpack that. I want to go to the Middle East. Um, <laughs> I've been um, I've been looking at that quite closely of late. Uh, I just want to ask: Would the two state solution bring peace to the region? I uh, will just have a look at that. Uh, I want to look at some of the Senate races, Montana, Tester versus Shea. That's an important one. And a surprise one in Tennessee. Will Marsha Blackburn um, defeat Gloria Johnson or the other way around? I want to say again, my current readings on Kamala Harris being the president in 2025. Yes, she will win, according to my readings thus far, have all shown very strong indicators that she wins. But I want to warn you, and I, I had a word in another platform to my viewers yesterday, I'm getting terrible cards for what occurs uh, after the election in terms of the states not certifying. I think Neil Cattiel, the lawyer, uh, a former Solicitor General or acting Solicitor General, um, is warning there could be a constitutional crisis. I think those warnings, I know you're taking those warnings seriously because I think that's what it's going to be. But anyway, uh, Harris is president in 2025 and so that's what I want you to hold on to when the going gets rough and tough. And we'll stay on this right up until it uh, it peters out and uh, we can uh, get on to other, other things. Um, I want you to hold on to that fact. She will be president in 2025, regardless of how rocky it gets. Let's start with Trump's health. I'm using the Art Nouveau Tarot. Art Nouveau Tarot and the Rider Waite Tarot. All right. Trump's health. Let's tune in. Trump's health. Trump's health. Thank you to my viewers also. Um, I just want to put that in there. Thank you. All right. Trump's health. Trump's health. What can you show me? Uh, is there anything uh, that you want to show me about Trump's health? You know, when he started swaying, what I felt I felt he it, it, it was a uh, diversion. I felt he was feeling unwell, uh, spent, spent meaning no energy, um, just doom and gloom with him. I think he's having real, real issues here. I think he, I think he can't go on and this will be the last, uh, the last time that he will be uh, running for president. Um and I think that music was a diversion. Um, he felt unwell. He felt he couldn't go on, didn't want to go on. And so the music was to buy him time and give him a break. That's absolutely what it was. Okay, so Trump's health. He takes him back also to a, I'm just seeing a, a gramophone, to another era where he was happier. I think he's, uh, we can add to the list, um, I think he's quite depressed. Uh, he's in real trouble, real trouble. Um, take those, those that music takes him back to when his life was less. Um, you know, as I say, as you sow, so shall you reap. He's reaping what he's sown. Okay, Trump's health. What can you uh, show us? Will he make it? Will Trump make it to the election? Let's get that one out of the way. Will Trump make it to the election day? <laughs> he said. It's November the 5th. He actually said November the... January the 5th. <laughs> At that down hall. Okay, so will he will he make it to the election, the US president, presidential election? Will he actually make it? 
Will he make it? Will he still be standing by then? Will Trump make it to the election? 20 days, I think it is. So we get moving out of troubled waters, the six of uh, six of swords, and then we get the moon card. So a lot under the surface here, um, not surprising in relation to his health, things being buried. Um, and again, this moon card keeps coming up and this is a troubled mind, can indicate a troubled mind. Um, let's see, eight of uh, pentacles. Um, yeah, many have said, uh, I think my old friend Cash Peters says, you know, Trump just is, is the clown and and while he while the attention is on him, others are doing his work in the background. That's absolutely it. Um, the lovers is in the past indicating that I think this cult stuff, this, you know, the relationships, the, the that's in the past. It's almost like Trump is in the past. Um we get the King of Pentacles crowning the reading, so not so so in the past. Um, this is the money, the businessman, the money maker, the de you know the the grifter, all of that. That's crowning the reading. Now, while uh, his you know Republican support might be drifting away, has drifted away from Trump, uh, we do see this here uh, again. What motivates Trump has what what uh, what makes the adrenaline surge in his veins is money. Uh, and he's still there, very much there. The businessman is still there. Now, Trump's health, secrets, the high priestess. There's a huge call for his medical records. He's hiding something, absolutely. Here she has her uh, the medical records here, a metaphor for that. There's the moon at her feet. We can see his health is, is, a, is an issue, is in issue. The Ace of uh, Cups is uh, the seed of a new start, a new emotional start. That's in the present. And guess what is in the environment? The Five of Cups, which is the minor Arcana a card, a Death card. I'm not saying he's going to die, but that's how he's feeling. That's how his campaign is going. The It's closing in on him. The ceiling's coming down. The curtain's coming down. He's also very fearful of being assassinated. The first assassination attempt really knocked him uh, mentally. Um, okay, so we get in the hopes and fears, the page of cups, a bombshell. And then we get the three, the outcome is uh, the three of pentacles. Um, will he make it to the uh, election? Yes, I think he will. But we have this three here um, working behind the scenes in some way. And then we get the Ten of Pentacles, family, money, uh, and the Six of Pentacles, a great deal of debt. Okay, so we know he's got financial issues. Absolutely. I've been saying that for a long, long time. Almost like he's broke. I'm just going to say, like, almost like he's broke. He's not broke, but he's got he's raking up the debt here. Um, there are people working in the background, sort of like a dark triad, uh, in the background. Yes, he will make it, but um, there's unquestionably issues with his health. Okay, so we get the Justice card, we get the uh, my card for President Biden, we get Russia, and we get the um, manifestation, manipulation, and abuse here, and the World card. I think, and I have always maintained, uh, if you go back in my readings, you'll see that I've long said that Trump's true relationship with foreign actors will emerge, particularly Russia, will absolutely emerge. Uh, the truth comes out. I think that unfolds over the next couple of years. So make sure that you have your seat in the theatre, if you so desire, to watch that, because it will occur. Okay, so... Um, Let's just have a look with the rods. Okay, so I use dowsing rods um, to uh, ask questions uh, and uh, it just gives us another divination. Yes, spirit is, it. well, let's, let's see. Could you show me yes? Okay, so when they cross, that's yes. Uh, could you show me no? When they go that way, that's no. You will notice they are enclosed in a cylinder, hollow, uh, copper cylinder. <laughs> and my hands are not touching these rods. Okay, so can you show me a spirit in this room? 
behind me. Spirit is in the room behind me. And you will see the orbs uh, show up uh, a lot during my reading. Spirit is, is here. Okay, so I want to see, uh, is Trump mentally fit to be, sorry, spirits just over there. Is Trump mentally fit to be president? Okay, that's a no. Okay, is he physically fit to be president? That's a no. <laughs> Okay, um, will he make it to the election? Thank you, that confirms my card reading. Um, will he become the next president of the United States? No. Okay, so uh, will the, uh, will states, will states, will red states certify the election? And that is where the constitutional crisis will occur. There will be a refusal to certify the election. They want it to go to the Supreme Court. Okay, will uh, the Supreme Court rule fairly on the election? That I want you to know. It would be a brazen act of treason and over trying to overturn democracy if that Supreme Court ruled unfairly that Trump had won the election when he hadn't. Remember, Biden has the power then of the presidency at his back to deal with such an action. OK, so please understand that eventually. All right, let's ask. Will the election eventually be certified? OK, so please hold on to that. Trump loses. Harris is the president. I'm glad that my endorsement. Um, oh, sorry. That is the AI function. That, that thumbs up is the AI function of my MacBook. Please ignore it. I usually turn it off. OK, uh, I'm pleased to know that my <laughs> endorsement is going to the winner. All right. Okay, so let's get back to his health. This is uh, nobody wants to see anybody um, in poor health. Okay, uh, will Trump pass in 2025? Will Trump pass in 2025? No, he won't. Okay, does Trump have Alzheimer's? Does Trump have Alzheimer's? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. They don't want to uncross. I'm just getting a lot of tension. My God, I can't. I can, <laughs> I can feel the resistance. People. He has Alzheimer's. Oh, my God. OK. Has this already been diagnosed? Has Trump's Alzheimer's already been diagnosed? Okay, they don't, they're not answering that. It's neither a yes or no. Okay, has anyone mentioned, any medical professional mentioned Alzheimer's to Trump? Okay. Will there be a diagnosis of Alzheimer's in the future? Oh dear. Oh my God. Does his family know he has Alzheimer's? All right. <laughs> they suspect it. Do his family suspect he has Alzheimer's? There's such resistance. Oh, my goodness. Our spirit does not want us to go any further. Okay? I'm just getting that very strongly. And so I will, I will, um, I will go with that. The resistance in the rods. This is not for us to know. Um, in terms of the details of his Alzheimer's. I, I don't think anyone will know. I think that perhaps when he fades to grey after the um, election and he's still there grifting in some way, um, it, it, that, kind of, that kind of information will be hushed up and eventually he becomes reclusive. Um, he has Alzheimer's. That's very, very clear. That's as far as we need to go. Okay, so let's have a look at the Middle East. Wow. <laughs> I've not felt that kind of resistance, very clear resistance in those rods uh, for a long time. 
once before when I was doing some ghost hunting uh, and uh, we were talking about someone who had unsubscribed from life. Um, there's just some some things we, we don't need to take any further. Okay, so uh, that was a pretty clear session. Let's just put it like that. Let's have a look at the Middle East now. Um, all right, the Middle East. Would a two-state solution? And then I'll get back on to uh, onto Leon Musk. Okay, let's have a look. The Middle East, the Middle East, the Middle East. Let's let's just move quickly past. Move quickly past. There could be a tanker or something that goes down in the Middle East. Um, I'm just seeing a ship uh, being sunk. Um, it's, I'm just seeing huge, huge waves, and that's a metaphor for what is occurring at the moment. Let's move past all that for a minute. Let's move past the horror. Would a two-state solution? And there needs to be supplementary, uh, like, peacekeeping force to begin with. Uh, in time, would a two-state solution bring peace to the Middle East? In time, I'm getting a red sun or a red moon, a blood moon or a red sun. Okay, okay. Would uh, a two-state solution bring peace to the Middle East in time? Would a two-state solution bring peace to the Middle East in time? I'm seeing generations. Um, isolation, review, the dark night of the soul, the dark tunnel. And then the light comes in. Oh my goodness. It is extremely clear what needs to be done. It will take time. We have the death at the foundation of the reading. The end of something. The end of death. We get victory in the past. That's in the past. There are no, there will be no winners in the past. We get Restriction, worry, paranoia even. And then we get this huge energy that we're seeing here. What a profound reading. Young people in the present. Young people. The page of wands. We start with something. We start with something we can hold on to. We get the aerial bombardment, um, young people, children dying in the Middle East. Uh, it's, a, it's what's motivating us all to try and bring a, a stop to this. We have here hopes and fears, the new start. There's the dove of peace. That's the hope. And then we get illusion and delusion as the outcome, clarified by an offer. <laughs> Clarified by the devil. Okay. What comes after the devil? Anxiety. It's almost like, yeah, logic and uh, boundaries and that's the only thing that's going to work. And uh, a new... A new, um, it, it's a new, uh, what's the word? A new way that that forces boundaries um, onto onto the players. Uh, boundaries uh, and logic. Uh, it's an independent umpire, and then we get one ship coming in. So it would not work unless it was enforced. Okay, it would take generations, um, and even then, and even then, perhaps not. <sighs> Will there ever be peace in the Middle East? Will there ever be peace in the Middle East? Will there ever be peace in the Middle East? Will there ever be peace in the Middle East? That is the uh, 
people moving away from the from the, the war and we get you know some pretty terrible restrictions Gaza what's going on in Gaza and we get illusion bad choices ah oh, I know what that is in the outcome either good choices can be made or bad choices can be made the seven of cups not necessarily uh, can mean illusion delusion but can also mean either good choices or bad choices that's what's on offer and there we have the what would be a good choice okay thank you spirit for clarifying that spirit just pulled me up there and said hang on a minute okay we get the past in the here and now and we get something coming to fruition in time okay huh the magician look at that cup there keep it it's featured continually manifesting in the hopes and fears and we get the end of end of a cycle uh, the end of heartbreak and a crossroads what we do now matters and we get the page of swords clarity younger people rebuilding resources and then complete and utter downfall Oof. or it's a slim chance it's a slim chance that depends on what choices are made um and and an offer almost like a peace offering and you just see the uh di the diabolical you know we get people dying the end of something retreat and strength loss and the aerial bombardments insecurity lies and deceit but underneath it all hope so and moderation so providing right choices are made this is the answer there is hope for peace in the middle east interpret that how you will all right let's have a look at elon musk or leon musk as i call him he went on tucker carlson couple of days after I did my reading what motivates him and he said if Trump doesn't win I'm effed and then there was speculation then uh, on his own platform on Twitter X what are his legal issues that Trump might save him from so let's let's go we may have to get the rods back for this one I have a feeling the rods might want to answer that okay so we get the knight of swords the truth okay so all right so let's have a look what is the legal issue to do with some mentioned p diddy some mentioned epstein and p diddy some mentioned the fec investigations some mentioned the uh colla co let's just say alleged collaboration with russia during wartime um it could be any or all could be te tesla suits uh it could be all of that okay has um what is the legal issue what is the legal issue that musk elon musk faces what is the legal issue okay it has to do with debt and money debt and money financing and money okay so is this concerning the fec's investigation debt and money all right show me elon musk's legal issues Ooh, that wants to come out but we'll keep going so we get support and we get the truth foundation of the reading is money i don't need to go any further and we get the sun in the past up ahead we get the uh, relationship with trump and then we get the legal battles okay so i i'm pretty and how anxious he is about it i'm pretty sure it has to do with money but that, that is also my card for national security uh the knight and then the voter so again there are there's some some uh conjecture that what he's done with twitter and the trump campaign all sorts of things that he might he might get embroiled in let's see if trump has um trump has 
it's to do with his debt or how he's financed himself. Has Trump promised him that he will make it all go away for him if he's president? Has Trump promised Elon Musk a fix for his legal troubles in return for assistance? Has Trump promised Elon Musk help in return for his assistance? A straight road. I will clear the road for you. Whew. Something to do with regulations around the Teslas as well. There could be something there that we haven't really looked at or know about. Um, has Trump promised Elon Musk something in return to make his legal troubles go away in return for election funding and help? For abuse of power, five of cups, loss. We know that Trump won't be president. I already know that. Justice is there. The ten of uh, rods is in the past. Hard going and then a crossroads. Interesting. These cards have a mind of their own. Retreat, wounded in battle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Judgment, inevitability is in the here and now along with the Hermit card, we get the Queen of Wands in the Hopes and Fears. He would fear uh, a Harris presidency. And we get Foreign Influence. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. The Nine of Pentacles, you'll have everything you need. And I will take care of the courts. I will take care of the regulations. Whoa. Whoa. My goodness me, what comes after the Hierophant, Wheel of Fortune. It's not just one thing. I will clear the road for you uh, to make more money, but also make it all go away. You can't get more, I guess, clearer than those cards. Of course, we know, ooh, it's something Biden... Uh, to do with the Biden administration as well. Oh, it's something he's already embroiled in, in I feel. Okay. All right. <clears throat> that is why. Bricks would be a nice little sideline. His crypto stuff, nice little sideline. It may be that whatever this investigation that has to do with money now has something to do with crypto. Or he's undergoing uh, a lot of investigations and some that we don't know about. All right, that, that's Musk for you. Okay, so um, let's go to these Senate races. I'll change decks and we'll finish up the readings. Uh, I'm now moving to the right of weight. The first one was the Art Nouveau Tarot. Okay, Montana. This is a key race. Um, Tester versus Shea for the Senate seat of Montana, or in Montana Senate seat, in Congress, the federal, in Congress, I should say, in the Senate. Okay, so uh, Tester versus Shea, Tester versus Shea. Now, I think Tester's behind, he's a long-term type of senator there. Um, Shea, I think, is MAGA, endorsed by Trump, of course. Uh, Testo has been behind in the race. Let's see, Montana, Montana, Montana. How are you going to vote? Okay, will John Tester keep his seat? The Senator Tester keep his seat. The Senator Tester keep his seat. Campaign sort of run out of puff a little bit, but he's seen as consistent. Will Senator Tester keep his Senate seat in Montana? Will Senator Tester keep his Senate seat in Montana? In Montana? <coughs> I think he will. I'm seeing the Six of Wands. <coughs> Pardon me. Something went down the wrong way. Okay, so we have um, Kamala Harris, <laughs> the cat lady. All right, Montana's uh, quite conservative. Uh, they're insecure about Harris herself. That is going against him. However, they see him as a consistent choice. There we have the Knight of Pentacles. In the past, we have heavy going. Uh, in the past, um, 
yeah, I think he was vulnerable going into this selection. Uh, we have the page of wands uh, in the sky crowning this reading. It, it's a it's a it's a good card to have, but it's not strong. And we get toss up could go either way. That's in the immediate future. Uh, there's also some, some sort of manipulation going on here as well. The sun card in the here and now, the brightness and the voter. Yeah, I want I want to say again, this was the election result will be very strong in in favour of uh, Harris, even though in Montana they might have their reservations, hopes and fears. What is how is she going to restrict us? And then we get the moon card. Mm. It's volatile. The chariot, the volatility will continue. And then we get Biden. Um, and then the king of pentacles. Um, wow. Okay, so it's not looking good, I'm going to say, at this time for John Tester. Let's get a clarification on the moon. I think they've been... Um, I don't know, using Biden to pull her down, pull, pull Harris down in some way. I haven't taken a lot of notice of this race. We get the hangman pause, so it'll be very close. Ooh. We get very hard to win. Okay, so uh, Tester, not look, looking good at this stage. I hope I'm wrong. Um, we'll test it. Can you show me the moon card? In 2025, will John Tester be the senator from Montana? Will John Tester be in the Senate representing Montana in 2025? I think that's how I've got to phrase things. And we get abuse of power. And there's some sort of skullduggery going on here. Um, I don't I don't like it. Uh, very highly partisan in the court. That particular race might even go to the Supreme Court. Montana might be... I don't know who's in power in Montana, but it might be one of those states that doesn't certify. Doesn't look good for Tester at this time. I'm feeling uh, I'm. I'll follow up on that reading. Um, but it seems like there's some skullduggery there as well. Uh, maybe as I said, if it's a Republican in power in Montana, um, that one does go to the courts to decide. All right, so let's have a look at uh, what I'm feeling. I don't know secretly optimistic about Marsha Blackburn and Gloria Johnson. Now, Gloria Johnson, as you know, supported the Tennessee um, state uh, reps after they were evicted, thrown out of the Tennessee uh, Parliament or state, state Congress, and uh, she's, she's gutsy. So, Marsha Blackburn, well, we know all about Marsha. Marsha Blackburn. All right, Gloria Johnson, are you going to beat Marsha? Gloria Johnson, are you going to beat her? Will Gloria Johnson beat Marsha Blackburn to be the senator from Tennessee? Will Gloria Johnson beat Marsha Blackburn? Will Gloria Johnson beat Marsha Blackburn? Six of uh, swords. Ooh, the lovers. And uh, the, my card for the Democrats. Lovers are my card for the Democrats. Magician card. These are strong cards. Manifestation. The sun card is in the past. Queen of Cups. Women will uh, come out and force in Tennessee. You watch this. Uh, we get someone having a downfall. We get <laughs> my card for Harris in the present. The... Uh, environment around is the ten of uh, rods that's heavy going end of cycles hopes and fears consistency stability and the hierophant she does she does beat her oh my goodness okay three cups lost one remaining and then we get the ace of wands i think the king of pentacles what's up his sleeve <laughs> This one does go to the courts as well, but I think I think Johnson might have a chance. It do, he has to defend. They might have they might have kind of lost focus on Tennessee, but this might be a surprise win. 
gosh, I hope so. And it's the women that do, that do it for uh, for the Dems in Tennessee. I, I just want to clarify that because I can't really. Um, it seems like it seems like she does on the women's vote. Am I reading this correctly? Can you clarify Hierophant and the six, the winner's card? Uh, does the higher does uh, Johnson win? Can you show me the Hierophant and the six of wands? Does Johnson win? Can you show me the Hierophant and the six of wands? Four of Pentacles, insecurity, and uh, a lot of speed, bombshells. We get abuse of power again. This is nothing's going to be easy about this presidential election. The uh, law and the hierophant again, it definitely goes to the courts. We get the past and then we get uh, the eight of pentacles skill. My card for the Democrats. After a lengthy uh, battle through the courts, I have a feeling Johnson might win. I don't know. I've just got that feeling. Let's see what I see clairvoyantly. Can you show me? Um, so it's like the four four of swords, boundaries, sort of. What is this X? Crossroads, uh, barriers. The sun is behind. So there's, there's going to be some argy bargy around the result in Tennessee. Does Gloria Johnson win? Can you show me? Does Gloria Johnson win? What is that? <laughs> so, at first it seems like she doesn't, or at first she seems like she's been thwarted, and then out of the sky someone hands her uh, the Ace of Cups, which tells me that there could be uh, courts will rule in her favour. I don't know. Let's just kind of hope that that occurs. All right, bye for now. See you soon.